right, this is the last video in the series for the Wrath Guard, and this is actually going to come from the left Wrath Guard, and it is similar to a play we've seen before, and it's not super long, so I think this should be a, a pretty easy video to follow. So let me give you the translation. In the onset, when you come into the left Wrath Guard, then drive over your right thigh as previously over the left, one cut, two, three. Then step and cut through from your left, up from below, through his right, strongly upward so that your sword flies back around in the air for a low cut against his right. At once pull around your head and deliver a strong fork cut at his left ear. Flick further to all four openings, diagonally and horizontally from one to the other, palm away from him, that is with the back of your hand, at his left, whether below or above, and on his right with the inside flat, that is palm towards him. So, Myra says we have come into the left wrath guard, so maybe you've cut up and now you're in the left wrath. So he says, just like we've seen before, we're gonna drive over the opposing leg with one to three of these cuts. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna step with a, a rising cut, let it roll into a secondary rising cut. So we've kind of driven the, the opponent back. Now we're gonna throw a double rising cut from this side. From there, we're gonna throw a thwart cut. What he says now is we're going to attack with the flat and he says we're going to flick to the various openings with the palm of the hand and the back of the hand uh, as i mentioned in, in other videos i pretty much go right into false and true edges so for me i do the driving i do this double undercut the thwart and then i will just work to the four quarters with the, the true in the back edge uh, meyer speaks in other parts particularly the juice act section about using middle cuts horizontal cuts uh, as a way to facilitate changing side to side so when you're doing these um, i tend to go across with the middle cut and then i can work my diagonals and then come back around with a, a middle cut remember middle isn't a level it's just the path so you can throw a middle cut to the head a middle cut to the torso you could even throw a middle if you're throwing a horizontal cut to the leg although i wouldn't necessarily recommend it uh, but meyer does talk in the do sack section about using those middle cuts as a good way to transition side to side. So my kind of mental shorthand is drive, double rising, thwart, four openings, leap. So when I'm practicing that on the pel, kind of the same thing. For this one, I'm, I, if I'm going to the left wrath guard, I'm probably gonna do a rising cut and just recover to the left. I'm very, very rarely, really never gonna just pull back into a left wrap, but I might cut up into it. So facing the pillow, I'm going to drive, rising cut, let it roll, another rising cut, port, and then from here, using some shifting footwork, and then, so again, cut up to the left wrap, drive, One more time to the camera. Left wrath. Drive. Double rising cut. Port. Work to the four openings. Leap. And that is the last uh, play in the wrath series. Next week we'll jump into the ox and what Meyer has to say from there. It should be a good time.